Hello, my name is Stevie Martin with the VIA Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about the Web to Live Environment Depot, what it is, how it works, and how you set it up. In Web.Live, the areas that people meet, hold conferences, gather to talk, are called environments. What we're looking at here is the default environment for all initial Web.Live installations called the Loft. Web.Live Depot is a tool that allows you to set up multiple environments that the users can switch between based on need. Once the Web.Live Depot has been set up, a user can come in and just click on Find Environments and then go in, select the environment they want to use for that particular meeting or day, and select Install. Another thing to note is you can upload your own environment from your desktop by clicking on Upload Environment. You select Upload Environment, browse your desktop, find your .wae file, and upload it. It would automatically install. Once you've installed that environment, you will have the capability to go back to your previous environment. Please note that you can only go back to the immediate environment before. So if you upload an environment, then upload a second one, you'll go back to a previously uploaded environment, not the original one. For this demonstration, we'll show how, in the cloud environment, the web.alive depot is set up. And we'll also show on the on-premise software configuration how the tool is installed and how the environments are added to the depot. All Web.Live environments based in the Amazon Cloud are pre-configured to point to an external .Live depot server. This configuration is set on the operating system desktop in the NitPub folder. This folder is a folder that's created when you install the Internet Information Services Manager for Windows 2008. There's a folder in there called www.adminpanel. Inside this folder is a web.config file. Inside this web.config file is a setting called wa.depot.url. In this example you see here, we set up that the URL for the web.live depot is in, in this case is an internal server that's used by the web.alive team. What it is saying is that anytime when you click on find environments, you go to this server and you show all the contents of that, of that server. As we've seen in early on, what that will show is all the multiple environments that have been loaded. If your customer does not wish to use the cloud version of web.live, do you be installing your system locally using what we call the on-premise software license or OPS version of web.live? If you do this, you will not have WA Depot available to you unless you install it yourself. There are two options for installing the WA Depot. You can install it on a separate server, or if you only have one web.live environment, you can install it locally. In this example here, I'm installing it on a local web.live server, but the uh, steps are identical. Web.live WA Depot has been tested with Windows 2003 server and Windows 2008. The first thing we'll note is they ask you to select the destination location. If you use the default setting, it'll be visible in IIS Manager under the default website. This is a public domain, which means anybody will be able to access the depot. If you want to have a little extra level of security, you want to store it in your internal folder in the IIS Manager. For this demonstration, we're stored in the internal, and what that will mean is it'll only be accessible through the admin panel. If you don't have your password to log into the admin panel, then you'll be unable to access this depot from your uh, Web.Live servers. Once you installed your WAE depot, you see in this example that we have it showing up in the IIS manager under the internal directory. The next step will be to go into the admin panel config file, tell it where to go whenever you click on find environments in the admin panel. There's one thing to note first. If you stored it in the default website, you want to use port 80. If you installed it on the internal website, you're going to be using port 8080. In this example, that's the port we're going to be using when we configure our WA admin panel. The WA Admin Panel 
folder is under the default website in nitpub backslash www.root. Inside this folder is a file called web.config and this is the folder that you're going to want to modify. In this file you want to search for wae.depo.url. wae.depo.url is the tag that we need to modify in order to point to the correct location for the WA Depot environments. In this example, we'll set it to localhost port 8080 directory WA Depot. By using the 8080 port, we're telling the script that it's in the internal directory. We have installed the WA Depot Manager and we have told the Web.Live admin panel where to go to find the environments. The next step is to upload the environments to the WA Depot. All environments will have the suffix WAE for Web.Live environment. You can put these files anywhere on your desktop so long as you specify the path to them when you run the command. It is simpler to just put it inside the WAE Depot folder and run it from there. WAD Depot Manager script is a PowerShell script and has to be run by either inside PowerShell or from a DOS prompt. The command is PowerShell WAE Depot Manager add the name of the environment and the environment file itself. You will see it successfully added to the repository when you run this command if you do it correctly. Note that once you've added this, a folder will show up under WAE Depot with the name of the environment, and you can be able to see it from the IIS manager. Inside this folder, you'll see the environment itself, in this case, profemv.wae, a thumbnail of the environment, which you'll be able to see when we click on Find Environments. The XML file just has a brief description of that environment and that is also posted in the admin panel when you click on Find Environment. One last thing we will look at is what you actually will see when you log into your admin panel. When you go in you click on Find Environments, you will see the environment or environments that you have uploaded. The information here comes from the files we mentioned earlier. The picture you see is the thumbnail that was installed in the prof env folder. The information comes from the XML file that was in that same folder we showed just a little while ago. Now that you have this environment, you will be able to click on install and upload it anytime you want. Thank you for your time today. I hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.